to print the twin prime pairs below 100 okay you can do uh, you can follow the same logic to print the twin prime pairs below 1000 or any below any number okay yeah. so let's get started so starting with the header file include sorry hash include stdio.h which means standard input output streaming.h it is uh, it's already defined okay uh, now void main main is a user defined function open bracket of our program and two three four spaces for indentation purpose and then we're going to declare the variables in uh, all the variables that we require are n for our twin primes and i for the iterations in loop for loop in our for loop and uh, f or you can say flag anything any variable can be taken okay now clear screen for clear view of your output then it is optional but it is uh, generally used to view your output without any confusion clearly and uh, it will clear all the previous outputs on your console window or output window and now it's time uh, to i think so it's time to get into the loop yeah so get into the for loop start with the for loop sorry yeah 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 oh, that's it that's it uh, start with the for loop actually uh, and start taking numbers from actually you need to start taking the numbers from p but i'll tell you uh, why we are taking it from two only because one is neither prime nor composite this is no very well known to everyone so we don't consider that in uh, for, as a value as one of the values of n so we start from two but starting from two also won't give you the exact output to get the exact uh, exact output you need to place three you need to initialize n with three but let us see what happens if we initialize n with two okay so yeah semicolon as per the syntax of for loop n less than 100 because we are expecting the twin prime pairs below 100 and if you want below 1000 then you can take a thousand over here i want only below below 100 so i'm placing 100 and semicolon as per the syntax of for loop and the increment operator operator n plus plus right next according to the indentation so now uh, let me initiate this flag value to zero first of all semicolon because every statement in c must end with a semicolon and then we are going to enter into another for loop so i've shown you the syntax of for loop already so i've just closed this bracket for this for loop and this bracket for this for loop and uh, later after this uh, we will obviously give get ch so I mean making the end of my program ready that's it um, and finally close end your program with closed flower brace because we have opened it here at the beginning of the program okay so in this for loop uh, I will use the variable iteration I for it variable for iteration I which is going to begin from 2 again because 1 is a factor of each and every number as you know it and now I less than n the number that we're going to take comma okay i plus plus is our increment operator and that i'm going to use and now what i'm going to tell my compiler is that if the compiler finds any number n whose percentile i equal to equal to zero or logical or operator n plus 2 because what are prime twin primes according to mathematical definition twin primes are those two numbers uh, twin primes are a pair of uh, prime numbers which differ by two that's it so that is why i'm taking my logic in this way two numbers that differ by two and whose percentile if equals to zero if any of their percentile is equal to zero then i will suggest the compiler to take flag value as one to change the flag value to one actually because first i'm initiating flag value as zero it will change it to one if it finds any such n or n plus two value so yeah so finally after this i'm telling that if after uh, coming out of this inner for loop 
I'm uh, telling my compiler that if the compiler uh, finds the flag value equal to zero, then through the print statement, what I'm going um, to display on my output screen is the pair of twin primes. That's it, because those become those will become the pair of twin primes. Percentile D, comma percentile D. And yeah, what else? Yeah, so we can give a space, or you can even give a slash new line over here. Okay. Uh, anything is okay but okay let me give me let me give only a space or two spaces like this and then uh, we want to print our print primes n and n plus 2 that's it just save it using f2 key or else file save yes 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 everything is defined and i hope there are no in this uh, no errors in this program yeah fortunately yes there are no pro errors in our program now now these see these are the only twin primes below 100 if here if we observe here the first twin prime pair is shown as 2 comma 4 but where but 4 is not a prime number at all so that is a wrong pair so that's why i've told we are going to get wrong wrong outcome for these values i mean for this initialization of n we need to initialize n with 3 so it's so it's so that it starts checking from 3 only so to avoid that error the uh, only method that i got in my mind is to write the first pair of twin primes sorry huh. because twin primes start from 3 only that should be known already to us that's it now i'm uh, running my program and compiling it again using control f9 and these are the only twin prime pairs that are possible that's it so we have got the successful outcome output as expected and you can google the twin prime pairs below 100 also you will find the same pairs if you have any doubt in the code thank you for watching the video and please do like share and subscribe the video okay so these are the required if you want to check the output you can clearly see here that the twin primes between 1 and 100 are 3 5 5 7 11 13 all of which can be seen on our output window also